Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make plaquettes for senator dress. If it's something you're interested in, then let's get started. What I did was that I folded on bias form, then I went ahead to press my fabric. After that, I measured three quarter of an inch. I marked it, then I'll be cutting out my fabric. The next thing I'm going to do is that I'll try to get the bias shape. I will be folding it in such a way that both side fabric will come together in the middle that, like they will meet in the middle and I'll high on it. Once I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and divide it into two, making sure one half is longer than the other while I press. This is what it should look like once you are done. For the placket, the width is 4 inches and the length was like 16, I think. Yeah. The width of my interface is 2 inches and the length is like 14 inches. I'm going to go my interface on my fabric. How I'll do it is that I'll measure half an inch on the fabric, then I'll place my interface before I press it on the fabric. Once I'm done with that, on my interface, I'm going to measure one one quarter. Then I'll use that metal stuff on my tape roll to make a mark so that I'll get a straight line. I'll be using my iron to straighten up that lines. The next thing I did was to just fold in that half an inch I marked before placing my interface. After that, I went ahead to cut out the excess fabric, leaving like half an inch to stitch it down. I will fold in that edge fabric and I'll press. The next thing I did was to measure 8 inches down from the edge and then I'll cut it out. I'll cut that remaining side, I'll cut it off. Then on the other edge that isn't folded, I'm going to make like an arrow. Then I'll press it also. After that, I'll be going to my sewing machine to stitch them up. I have a video where I show you how to pipe a senator neckline. I'll be using the sample, I'll be continuing with the sample. So the next thing I'll do is just to give that edge a little notch. Then I'll fold the first fab bias I made. I'll fold it, then I'll stitch from the edge of the neckline. I'll stitch it down to the notch part. Once I get to the edge, I'm going to trim off the excess fabric, but not all of it. After that, I'll be sewing my plaquettes. I'll sew my plaquettes on the wrong side and I'll sew it to that notch part. When I get there, I will just give it a notch. I'll give the plaquettes a notch, then I'll turn it to the right side. I'm going to lay the plaquettes flat on the clothes. Then I'll start from I'll start my sewing from that notch part to that folded edge and down. As well, so you make sure all your fabric are inside, not like this. I made a mistake here. I had to pull it out to put my fabric inside. Also, also, you make sure your placket covers the stitches. It should not be showing. Once I got to the notch part, I tried to trim out the SS fabric before sewing it down on the fabric. While sewing, I make sure my placket is in the middle. I'll be using the iron line as my guide. What I did here was just to pin my placket with the other bias. Also ensure that that bias is inside the placket, it is not showing on the wrong side before sewing it down. Once I get to the notch part, I'm going to sew across the placket. You can just finish your sewing there, but I like to give it a Z sign. 
then we are done with our packet. What you have to do is you just add your press button or your buttons. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye.